drawing, sculpturing, decorating, arts and crafts, textile and felt processing, hunting, falconry, smith works and jewellery. We showcase our national identity in the Kazart program. A famous collector and professor, Gavin Kretschmar, and his colleague, Alper Akdenis, exhibited their personal collection at the Kazakh State Museum. The Kazakh artist, Timur Dairbayev, is the author of these compositions. There is a following wonderful words of Edgar Degas, art is not what you see, but you make others to see. Similarly, the art collection, The Spirit of the Kazakhs, will show our history and rich culture to other countries. The museum is an institution that conserves a collection of artifacts and other objects of artistic, cultural, historical or scientific importance. Many public museums make these items available for public viewing through exhibits that may be permanent or temporary. Museums have varying aims ranging from serving researchers and specialists to serving the general public. The goal of serving researchers is increasingly shifting to serving the general public. Today our program will introduce you with British collectors Gavin Kretschmar and Alper Akdenis' exhibition, The Kazakh Spirit. The private collection exhibitions are often organized in the Abil Khan Kastev State Museum of Arts. The exhibition of Mr. Kretschmar, Kazakh Spirit, is unique. As the exhibition brightly demonstrates to us a great interest of Kazakh art abroad as well. The singularity of the exhibition there exhibited 12 paintings where artists depicted the history of Kazakhstan. And the concept to these compositions have been drawn by Professor Kretschmar. The exposition of the exhibition will exhibit in Astana, and later in London and Edinburgh after Almaty. Gavin Kretschmar is a specialist in finance, chartered accountant, PhD in quantitative finance from the University of Edinburgh Business School, a specialist in oil and gas valuation, structured finance and banking. He has been living in Almaty for 12 years. Mr. Kretschmar was invited by one of the big companies to develop business, and he teaches business at the university as well. Over time, the interest of this man to the rich Kazakh culture and history increased. Then he started to research the history of the Kazakh land. The main purpose was to depict the Kazakh history on a white canvas. Okay, so when I, when I arrived at, in Shevchenko, in the art gallery, and I was having a look at this, this painting, what I noticed, and it worried me a little bit, is the composition of the battle. So I didn't really see the story evolving. I didn't see whether this person was defending you know, his brother. I didn't see if it was Kazakhs against someone. And I began to, be, to think a little bit about how should I tell the story of Kazakhstan? And I needed to go right back to the beginning because I felt as this almost started in the middle of a battle. So I wanted to do some introduction and some background before we got to any battles. Dr. Gavin Kretschmar was not impressed by the idea of the composition and drawings, but the abilities of the young artist touched his heart. This is why Timur Dairbayev was entrusted with the collection of the Kazakh spirit. I accidentally made acquaintance with Dr. Gavin Kretschmar. I'm very happy to meet him in my life. It is very interesting to work with Dr. Kretschmar. If something does not work or what I found difficult to do, he explains everything constructively to me, and I started to understand as he knows the history of Kazakhstan better than I do. Я затрудняюсь в чем-то, как бы он мне конструктивно все объясняет, и я начинаю понимать, так как он даже больше знает. And somewhere he starts to prompt me and directs me to the correct direction. And for me, it's a very big growth in the art. Правильно русло меня направлять, так что с ним работать очень интересно и как бы для меня ну рост очень большой.
бұл топтаманың ерекшелігі сол шетел азаматы доктор Гейвен Кречманның. The singularity of this collection, Dr. Gravin Kuchmar, a foreign citizen, is interested in the Great Steppe history and customs and traditions of the Great Steppe. When a foreigner arrives to another country, what he has not visited before, he will be interested in the traditions and customs of that country, as it's a natural phenomenon that belongs to any person. Kazakh people had difficult times as repression and hardships in Scythian periods till our independence journalists and the tourists have interest to the history of our country. Of course, in this collection, an artist depicted people during the creation of the Kazakh Khanat, including the time of Qasim Khan and Ablai Khan. We are able to see also the paintings that are dedicated to the customs and traditions of Kazakh people, as Tusao Kisir, Kazakh Toy, and Kokpar. There are not only paintings that show suffering and yearnings of the Kazakhs, but also national significance have taken place among the compositions as well. This collection included 12 compositions that were depicted in a large format. Why are there 12? The British collector studied our calendar and found out. The number 12 is sacred for Kazakhs, which was based on this project. The artist shared with us his feelings and thoughts during the creation of this collection, as he knows the meaning of being a real Kazakh and the Kazakh spirit. To depict the Great Steppe history, the Kazakh Khanat and historical Kazakh figures were one of the main purposes of the artist, to show the history and traditions to the whole world. And the main task was to create a collection of 12 episodes. It was a great challenge for the young artist, Timur Dairbaev. Gavin made magnificent works as he invented the idea and created the stories of these 12 compositions. These works created together with him. He came to me every week and we consulted. For example, the first work, Kazakh Spirit, includes the soaring hands of a girl depicted in the bottom part of the composition. We were able to see them from the sketches. Then we have thought, why are her hands depicted on the below side? It would be better to draw them on the top. We worked hard day and night to receive good results of our works. So after identifying the artist, as I said, I knew that I had to go back to the beginning of the Kazakh story. So what I did is I went to the petroglyphs, the rock paintings that were found in Tamgala. And the pictures on these paintings showed, if you like, the shamanistic history of the Kazakhs, the pre-Kazakh Hanet. And so we started just by taking the outline from these pictures on the stones, and we imagined how it would be if these ancient people had the oil and the paintings and could actually produce this kind of gold oil on canvas. So we painted a Kazakh duch, the spirit of the Kazakhs, free in the steppe. And this picture, if you think about it a little bit, it's the same as on the Kazakh flag. So we have a nice history from the petroglyph. We have a nice expression of the freedom of being Kazakh on the steppe and we have this position of this woman just flying free. And so this is the beginning of, of the Kazakh spirit, spirit series. This was the first painting.
Every composition in the collection are not only merely creative works, they are the arts that reflect the reality and connected with historical events. Therefore, Dr. Kretschmar and Alper Akdenis emphasize the archaeological and historical features of the paintings as they are true. Естественно, нужно было ходить по музеям, естественно, нужно было это там как-то исторически все это все подтверждать, чтобы это было правильно, ну, чтобы это Of course, it was necessary to go to the museums to see the historical confirmation with the right informations. Dr. Gavin researched them in the theoretical part and searched all of them. I did not have time to even go to the museum and to see exhibits and depict on the white canvas figures and ornaments with some details as I did not have time to draw them. Dr. Gavin researched all these historical facts. Somewhere we added some fictional information, and we cannot say as they were definitely in the history. During the painting, I think I feel all of them in the genetic level. When a musician plays the dombra, something wakes up inside me. It seemed as I lived on the earth thousands of years ago. When I listen to the sound of the dombra, I enjoy, and with the melody of this instrument, the sound of the dombra inspires me. The artists depicted in those compositions are ancestors, the Kazakh Hanat, and places of the wars, the wide great steppe with full of horses, the flying eagles and customs and traditions of the nomads, and found a significant view that animated each composition. The works of the artists that were performed with a classic skill discover the culture of the Central Asia steppe. Through the images of this collection, including paintings of the magnificent Kazakh spirit in a singular way, we should say that the artist Timur Dairbayev depicted all of them in a professional way and as this collection shows, he is one of the great achievements. Also, these compositions of Timur Dairbayev can show the culture of the great step to the world. The paintings of this collection are not only creative works, they are compositions that are connected with the historical events. One of the masterpiece's work is the Step Diplomacy composition. The wonderful painting shows the relationship between Khasim Khan and Said Khan. Due to the information the artist depicted the composition, Khasim Khan, who was a master of the contract, presented his thoroughbred horses as a symbol of peace between the Kazakh Khanat and Mongolia. If we have a look at the composition, we'll see in the middle of the painting Hasim Khan and the horse that was given as a gift. It is difficult to imagine Kazakh collections without yellow and brown colors in the paintings. We are able to see the skin of the tiger that involves the symbol of aristocracy and braveness. This collection is very important to Kazakh pictorial art. Therefore, Mr. Kretschmar and Alper Akdenis created a collection as they would like to show their great interest to the Kazakh painting art in the international arena, as there are a lot of requests for our art. Owing to this exhibition, the number of art followers will increase, and our art will be known all over the world. According to the research works of historians, there are own difficulties to show the culture of the nomads and describe them. The culture of nomads connected with the steppe and nature. We know our ancient history from the paintings on the rocks, cave paintings, which were found during the excavation works and they were delivered to us. There is a puzzle to understand all the mystery of the cave paintings. That's why the works of Mr. Kretschmar and Akdenis are based on archaeological excavations and historical diplomatic writings.
during this time, um, in my uh, travels around Kazakhstan and Eurasia in Central Asia, um, I've seen the beauty of this landscape, the warm hospitality of people and its rich history. So when Gavin asked me to join him for this project about Kazakh Spirit Series, it was a, an ideal project for me to express my ideas and views and experience about this uh, country. So I wanted to show uh, some special aspects of Kazakhstan. The first one, as a businessman, I see the importance of trade and relationships and politics between countries. So the Silk Road is a historic way of uniting and bridging countries. So the first painting that I want to work on is about Silk Road. The second one is about trading. Uh, and it is the backbone of relationships. So we have Sarayshik market traders as the second painting to show the vibrant and dynamic trading in this part of the world. The third is about what people do in their free time. So we wanted to show Kokpa. Uh, and Kokpa is about, not just about sport, but it's also about training the armies in times of fighting, so we capture that. And in, it's important in Kokpa to understand the, the, the proud and resilient nature of Kazakhs, and I wanted that to come across from that painting. The collection includes paintings where the artist depicted Kazakh traditions as Tusau Kisir, Kazakh toy, and Kokpar. They're singular with their own idea and solution. The plot of the compositions are also impressive. The painting that I really like most is Tusar Keser. Tusar Keser is about the family, it's about the future, and it's about how families get united. And it's a, it's a very important part of the Kazakh culture. And I wanted to capture that and show it to people in Kazakhstan and outside Kazakhstan to understand how important family is and the future, which is the younger generation for this country. Kokpar is the Kazakh national game on horses. The game Kokpar was not only a competition of nomad life, it was a school where warriors trained to protect their country and land from the enemy. The composition, Kokpar, which was included in the collection, allows you to see the whole game for the viewers. And we are able to see the spirit of Kazakh nations and their braveness as well. The collection of Kazakh spirit compositions prove the bright future of our national art. Dr. Kretschmar and his colleague, Alper Akdenis, made a contribution to the Kazakh culture through this collection. For me, the most important thing, I, I think this is now becoming, it's Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan's time. It's time to tell the Kazakh story. The Central Asian story we need to give to the world. And so this process now, we will start, we will start the process now of taking this collection from here, Astana, London, Beijing, New York. And so what we will do is we'll start to tell the story internationally about this Kazakh spirit. And this is why we made the series. So we start with one and we go all the way through to number 12. And number 12 is a perfect ending which summarizes how Kazakhstan has on one side China and on the other side Russia and Kazakhstan is in the middle and that is our country. And that will enable us to tell this beautiful story of the Kazakh culture internationally. So the first thing is to focus on this collection. The main purpose of the collection is to show the Kazakh culture to the whole world and to the next generation as well. From this point of view, we know as the main task of our project is fully implemented. 